Well, a month ago, I got the Elegoo Mars. I showed you guys how to set it up. I ran a sample test print along with one other print, and now it's been a month. I've done a ton of printing, so it's time to show off what prints I've done and the quality, so let's get into it. As always, huge thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys are awesome. Stickers will be going out this week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Seriously, you guys rock. So, the Elegoo Mars has been out of stock a lot, especially since I made that video and Uncle Jesse made his video and there's been a few other YouTubers making videos as well. I don't think Elegoo anticipated the amount of people and interest that this machine uh, would really grab at that price point with a 2K LCD screen and the quality it's able to obtain. So they've gone ahead and extended their sale uh, through the end of August. So it's still out of stock currently at this moment. They literally go in stock randomly one day and then all the units they have sell out. Um, I do know a few people personally that have gotten one or two units. So just if you're interested, make sure you are daily refreshing Elegoo's um, Amazon page uh, as well as maybe following them on Twitter because I think they're posting when they have um, some units available. So Without further ado, let's take a look at some of the prints I've done. The first big print I did really after the initial test print was this guy right here, Einstein, which turned out awesome. This was done in Elegoo, uh, their standard gray resin, which I think is my favorite resin as far as uh, price point, low odor, and the detail that it just shows through. Um, I also did some prints in their translucent red resin, uh, which you'll see later on in the video, but just the details it was able to capture in his face were awesome. Um, the Chit to box software did a really great job of hollowing out the model and allowing me to add some drainage holes. Um, next we've got the beautiful flash print from Wexter. Um, my uh, girlfriend's brother-in-law has been asking me to print him a flash bust for a really long time so I saw this model from Wexter who I love his content it's absolutely amazing I'll link you guys to his channel in the video uh, description down below but I printed this out I'm super excited I'm hoping that he will actually paint that uh, next I want to do kind of a torture test I will say that within the time I printed these I threw them all in a bag and moved apartments. So the tip broke off and a little bit of the railing around the like lower third portion also kind of broke off. It was so, so delicate. Um, but those were not the machine's fault. Uh, fault. Those That was my fault um, for cramming them into a bag and moving. But you can just see the detail on this model is absolutely insane. Um, for small complex geometry, it is just unreal. Um, I was really happy how this turned out. I'm super bummed about the tip of it, but still I think it does a great job of showing just the level of details and intricacy that this machine can really uh, obtain. Next, I just wanted to test out supports. It took me a few times. Uh, I had a few issues with the supports breaking off, so I really, really beefed them up for this little goblin print, and they did a great job. They held on fine. The model turned out great. His face is still a little bit wet. Uh, it needs to be cured more and also probably rinsed in a little bit more isopropyl alcohol. Again, with the move, it's been kind of tough curing these because I don't have all my stations set up, but it's still enough for you to see um, for something small like a little D&D character or mini, the level of detail it can get is just absolutely rad. Um, I followed this up with another mini, uh, a little bit bigger. I scaled it a tiny bit, but this is the Banana Knight. My coworker uh, Carl showed me this model when we were at work, I believe on, or maybe I saw it on Reddit. I don't really remember, but we were talking about it, so I had to print this guy out. I think it turned out amazing. He is seriously one banana I wouldn't want to screw with, but uh, as soon as this video is done, I'm going to be giving him this model as well because he was super pumped on this model, um, as was myself, but I think it did a really good job of capturing all the details and just making a really epic print. Um, so after that, I wanted to do some more testing. Um, so I did a print that basically took the whole X and Y-ish, give or take, um, with the shoulders, this crazy voodoo priest looking guy with a skull on his head. Um, I saw this model on Twitter and thought it was awesome. I'm a little bit bummed because after I dipped this model in isopropyl alcohol and allowed it to uh, cure a bit, it does wash out the uh, details a bit. Like if you were to paint this, it would, it would bring those back to life, but I did post a photo of this guy on Twitter before the resin actually cured, and it is insane, all the detail. Um, so after that, I followed it up with a print of Big Ben. Main reason on this was I wanted to print the full Z and see how well it performed, which it did also a fantastic job. Um, and then after this, the last print I did was of these four like demon dog guys. Uh, I did one on each of the four 
furthest corners of the bed just to make sure that it could print on the full, uh, full build volume outskirts and that it was um, going to be repeatable the quality on each of the four quarters which I was totally blown away it was so this will be the last video on the Elegoo Mars for a while I'm going to be using it for some other projects because I'm trying to do eventually some like resin casting type stuff uh, and I will be printing out the uh, base for the molds in this uh, in on this machine because I love it so much but for those of you that have been on the fence seriously I don't think there's a better machine for the price point if you can get it for that sale price of $100 off don't miss out on it I mean it so links will be in the description down below for those interested don't forget to like and subscribe and if you enjoy the content consider supporting me on patreon um, as always though I really appreciate all of you guys thank you so much for supporting my channel by watching my videos and coming back every single week and on that note I am out guys this has been Daniel from Modbot and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video peace guys